But if I know the feeling's right Then I found my place to go Gonna face the dark tonight Gonna tell them I am on the rise Love no longer out of sight Silver linings in my Feelings right, the cause of freedom here to stay. Gonna ride alone tonight. They will know the battles all been won. Kids are looking to get involved. They're searching for it, and in an era where you know adults often are looking for meaning and purpose in their lives. Kids also want to assert who they are, not just by the video games they play or the peer groups they belong to, but by the contribution they make. And that's part of a youth's self-identity in the world. And not only is it good for the child, my God, our world needs it. Why you? Why not? It, and if everyone in the world could say, why me? Then nothing ever would be accomplished. Why me? Because I've met those children, because I've seen them. Because I read the story of Iqbal Masi. Why not me? Why courage? Well, we need courage to make a difference. We need courage to dream. Courage can make our school, our city, our world a better place. We need it to stand up for what we believe in. explain something to you. If you want to enjoy the pleasure of the school, you need to make me happy. <laughs> I mean, very happy. Oh, no! You want me to tell you a joke? A joke? You're a joke. If you don't want to do what I say, you're going to meet my friends. Thunder and lightning. Give me a 20 every day before recess and I'll be very, 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 very happy. A toonie! Oh no, I don't have a toonie. I'm going loony. I don't know what to do. Would you stop bullying already? You know it's so lame. Yeah, stop bullying. Uh, what? Yeah, stop your belligerent. Stop your student bashing. Um, you know there's no room for bullying anywhere. Yeah, stop your barking, belly aching, belligerent, student bashing, bullying. Um, okay. I won't bully anymore. No more. I just wanted to be loved. It's okay. You were just being a little monster, and that little monster's gone. I'm 
I'm sorry. It's okay. Thank you for being so courageous. Uh, we're going to talk about when, uh, what the scientists did in order to make uh, the study of living. what was the scientific name for classifying or grouping living things? Do you guys remember? Who remembers this? Starts with a T. With Hannah? Taxonomy. That's right, uh, Hannah, it is taxonomy. So, why is taxonomy important? Okay, Emily. Um, because it makes it easier to study living things. That's right, Emily. It's because it's easier to study living things. Okay, one of the one of the main scientists that did that study was a, a gentleman named Charles Darwin. Who was Charles Darwin? So does anyone know how to explain the Darwin theory about uh, evolution and survival of the fittest? Anyone? Man, I'm hungry. Let's go. Come on, bell ring. Well, Mr. C's head is really shiny. I wonder if he waxes it. What direction? What direction? What direction? This is so exciting and so interesting. Mr. Quiddle's head is really shiny. I can't wait for lunch. Bologna sandwich? Oh yeah! Come on, that's what I'm talking about, baby. One direction. One direction. One direction. I think it's okay for guys to like Justin Bieber. So, who can tell me a rough and brief explanation of John Darwin's theory? Anyone? I think I know it, but I'm not sure if I should raise my hand. Come on, I'm sure someone here can explain Darwin's theory. Evolution and survival of the... Oh, should I raise my hand? I don't know. I'm scared. But my mom always said I shouldn't be scared to raise my hand. Anyone? itsy-bitsy information or explanation about Charles Darwin's uh, theory. Darwin's theory revolved around a few key points. One, when organisms reproduce, there is variation. The offsprings are not exactly like the parents, nor are they a perfect 50-50 mix of the parents' traits. That said, a reproducing couple have a chance of passing of most their traits to their offspring. Two, the organisms over-reproduce, meaning there are more offspring than strictly necessary, some of which won't survive. 3. Some variants will be naturally fit, well suited to the environment, while others won't. This is natural selection. 4. The fit individuals will have a higher chance of surviving and reproducing, while the unfit ones will have a lower chance. Note that this is statistical chance. Fit means it lives, unfit means it dies. The survivor parents have a chance to pass on that beneficial trait to some of their offspring. And that's the only itsy bitsy thing I have to say. Say why me? Why have I had such a hard life? Why have my siblings died? Why 
does it not go away? And then I think again, why not me? Better me than a kid who already has stress on his life. Or better me than a baby who wouldn't understand it and who has a bare chance of hurting more. So I think, why me? And then I think, why not me? As a 12-year-old in Canada, he read about the murder of a boy his age in Pakistan. Iqbal Masi was a slave in a carpet factory. Masi escaped to lead a campaign against servitude, but within two years, he was silenced. Kielberger put down the newspaper and rose to speak. We're talking about labor and the exploitation of children. He made Iqbal Masi's fight his own. He talked to classmates, to Congress, to Parliament. To call him precocious is an understatement. Malala Day is not my day. Today is the day of every woman, every boy, and every girl who have raised their voice for their rights. So here I stand. So here I stand, one girl among many. I speak not for myself, but for those without voice can be heard. Our words can change the whole world. We are all together, united for the cause of education. Let us empower ourselves with the weapon of knowledge. And let us shield ourselves with unity and togetherness. Let us pick up our books and our pens. They are our most powerful weapons. One child, one teacher, one book, and one pen can change the world.